Now, we wanted to take a moment to defend a colleague, a friend, and in this broadcast opinion, one of the finest journalists in the country. Andrea Mitchell has spent her career defying the odds, shattering glass ceilings, staring down presidents and dictators, and all in search of the unvarnished truth. Which is why we were completely taken aback when Mr Bill O'Reilly of Fox News decided to attack Andrea Mitchell for this. Andrea Mitchell is the chief foreign affairs correspondent for NBC News. Here's what she said yesterday on MSNBC. I had the uh, the advantage or disadvantage, as the case may be, of watching he, uh, Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich at the same time on side-by-side -side screens. It's my job. Someone has to do it. What was a brief, light-hearted aside at the end of an eventful day was suddenly taken up by Mr. O'Reilly as an example of the declining journalist standards in America. He also implied, erroneously, that Andrea Mitchell is part of a left-leaning press corps which has no interest in the business of proper reporting. Of course, he failed to mention that yesterday alone, Andrea Mitchell conducted thoughtful and incisive interviews with Republican Senators Roy Blunt and Olympia Snow, in addition to covering the full range of political stories. He also failed to acknowledge the countless interviews that Andrea Mitchell has conducted from war zones, hostile territories, and often from places where women are neither well regarded nor treated with much respect. But none of that registers with Mr. O'Reilly, who presents himself and Fox News as maintaining the highest values in journalism, even as he falsely attacks Andrea Mitchell. And he does so in the hope that his viewers have never heard of a little thing called Google. Because Google can expose the depth of Mr. O'Reilly's folly in, well, in an instant. Take it away, Bill. What if Carl Cameron, our main campaign guy, comes down to the O'Reilly factor, as he does occasionally, and says, you know what? I had to spend a day covering his Obama people. Somebody has to do it. Come on. <laughs> no. Carl Cameron of Fox News would never take to the airwaves and say such a thing. Absolutely not. He just uses the web instead. You see, in October 2004, just a month before the presidential election, between the then President Bush and Massachusetts Senator John Kerry, Mr Cameron made up a news article for foxnews.com in which he reported that Mr Kerry had gloated to reporters about his beautiful manicure and his wonderful metrosexual appearance. The article quoted the Democratic candidate as saying, didn't my nails and cuticles look great? What a good debate. And women should like me. I do manicures. Fox News reprimanded Mr. Cameron, took the posting down and apologised for the incident, which they said was meant in jest. And what, they did, and what did they blame for this outrageous error? Fatigue and bad judgement, which might just apply to Mr. O'Reilly's absurd, false and unmerited attack on Andrea Mitchell. And the moral of this story? Please wake up and do some research before using Carl Cameron as your example of unbiased, fair and balanced reporting at Fox News.